Hi, this is Susie Daphnis and Kat Madsen coming to you from South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. One of the key areas being covered off by speakers this week has been about content. Um, who do we create it for? How do we create it? How do we make it work? Um, Upworthy is a rising star in the area of content and we got to see uh, the head of Upworthy yesterday. Yeah, yeah Eli pa Pariza, 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 we're just going to call him Eli from Upworthy, um, was the head, um, was interviewed by um, David Carr from the New York Times. It was a fascinating conversation because I've actually started to stop clicking through on Upworthy content because the, the headlines have been a bit sensationalised and, you know, they're not the stories that I then get to haven't been the juice that I thought I was going to get. And it was a very interesting conversation because that came up. So to backtrack, Eli was talking about the fact that they started Upworthy because they wanted a way to distribute news, stories and issues that otherwise aren't getting space on the front page of traditional news sites or, or newspapers. Um, and so for them it's been around things like climate change, poverty um, and human rights. They've been the key, key themes. And they have done some phenomenal things in terms of growing to what was it, 40 million? Within two years, a 40 million monthly visitors to their site. Just crazy. Yeah. Any small business is kind of going, how do I get just a percentage of that? His argument was very much, you know, you've got to have juicy, emotive... Um, content in order to bring those those issues to light. Um, he made no apologies for some of those headlines that, you know, I just said at the top of the show around how, you know, they are a bit sensationalised. because. But they apparently the they deliver the content. So it's not a sensational headline as sometimes we'll see in blogs and then you go there and the article has nothing to do with that. It actually is about that. It is about that. That's exactly right. And what he was... Um, in fact, we heard from one of our colleagues who'd been to another Upworthy um, presentation earlier in the week that they actually test what was it... F um, 40, 40 headlines for the one for yeah. the one article over 15 minutes to see which one pulls best and then that's what they go with. Yeah. So they're taking a very scientific approach to getting the content out. Speaking of the scientific approach, they're also actually using the algorithm, particularly in social feeds, to make sure that their content gets out. So, you know, the, uh, Eli was very aware that it's social networks like Facebook that enable their content to get um, spread and to get shared. They need their content shared. It can't just be a like scenario um, and so he's they have taken an extraordinarily scientific tried and tested a b testing well 40 headlines tested um, approach to making sure their content gets out for me it was an interesting conversation around um, news distribution and content distribution um, you know we're seeing a, a an incredible fragmentation of the news that we've never seen before and it's only going to continue um, so companies like Upworthy or even companies like us who have our own blogs who are trying to get our content out, what do we have to do to seed that content and then get it shared to our audience um, in order to make the things, um, in order to get the issues discussed that we want discussed, whatever those issues are. Um, Just yeah. on the point of um, sharing, because that was one thing that the journalist did pull up, is like to give something a thumbs up is almost a no-brainer, almost doesn't count, but to get people to actually click that share button um, shows a greater commitment to your content and yeah. is where you want to be trying to encourage people. Yeah, absolutely, particularly in this day and age where, tho where those ideas only get to go viral um, when they do get shared. A like doesn't create any sense of viral um, activity. So yeah, it was a fascinating conversation and um, he's kind of renewed my faith in Upworthy. I'll, um, I'll start clicking back in on some of those headlines. Very good. Thank you uh, so much for joining us and we'll be back with more. Are we coming to the end of the conference, believe it or not? But Sad. we'll be back with a wrap up very shortly.